Hey there, Fletcher Mall Things Overlanding here, and today I'm going to be talking about a pretty cool new all-in-one compressor from a company called Eaton Wolf called the Vortex S6. Now this thing is really cool and it has a lot of really cool features, so I'm going to walk you through all that stuff. If you are looking for a big, huge, heavy-duty dual compressor to inflate four tires simultaneously, this may not be the one for you, but what this is good for is it has a built-in battery, it's all self-contained, and it will do a number of even large, oversized truck tires with that built-in battery, and it has some nice features like auto start stop and 100% duty cycle so you don't have to take breaks in between airing up one tire to the next. So anyways we're going to run a number of tests. I'm going to walk you through all the features and everything about this thing today and uh, show you how it works. So if you want to learn more about the Eaton Wolf Vortex S6 stay tuned. All right, so as I mentioned in the intro today, I'm talking about this Eaton Wolf Vortex S6. Um, this thing is a cool little compressor. I'm gonna take it out of the bag. I'm gonna literally show you everything uh, that this thing does that it has on it that comes with it. And then we're gonna use it on one of my 33 inch tires on my Nissan Frontier back here to air it up from 20 pounds of pressure, which is about what I typically air down to up to 35, which is where I usually will air up to when I'm going home. So again, we're gonna run some tests on it. As far as some specs on this unit, it will push one and a half CFM, which is pretty decent for an all-inclusive battery included unit like this. Again, as I mentioned in the intro, if you are a serious off-roader and you're, you know, using something like a Morflate or something and you're deflating or inflating multiple tires at a time, this isn't probably going to be the unit for you. This is more of a multi-use unit that you could use for airing up everything from kids' bike tires to, uh, you know, your air mattress in your rooftop tent to tires on your vehicle. And again, the fact that it has a built-in battery and auto start stop and 100% duty cycle is really, really cool. And I'll walk you through those things as we get into the unit. So let's start with the bag. It comes with this really nice little bag. I will also say it's surprisingly light and I'll put the weight up here on the screen of how much this thing weighs, but it's actually not nearly as heavy as my normal compressors, which is kind of nice if you're looking for something that's portable and that you can use, you know, anywhere. But so when you get the unit and you pop it out, it is a sharp looking little unit. So it does have a sort of a hose here that goes wraps around it and is kind of built into it. And then it's also got some additional air pump types on the back here, which I will say that's one of the things that I don't like about my big dual compressor that I plan to build into my truck at some point is I can literally only do tires, right? Like I, that's all that I can do. So when my kids are like, hey, my bike has a low tire, I'm like, sorry, buddy. You know, I guess we got to dig out the air compressor in the garage to air that up because it's just two different things, right? But with this, you can do tires on a vehicle all the way down to like, you know, athletic balls, basketballs, footballs, and uh, you know, bike tires and things like that. So I like that it's all built in, that it's right on the unit, that not only is it battery powered, but you got everything that you need right there. So then also included in the bag is one of these chucks for your tires. So we will need that since we're gonna air up a tire. Then it does come with a wall plug, which is 45 watts. So it should charge this unit really fast, but it's just an AC wall plug with a USB-C coming out of it. And then it comes with a good length uh, cord here that goes USB-C to USB-C. So super efficient when it comes to charging, right? USB-C to USB-C at 45 watts. Again, should charge this thing really, really fast. Another nice thing is they include this quick guide, uh, kind of like a quick start guide in the bag as well. So you can just really quickly see exactly how to work it, how to run the compressor, how to change the desired air pressure that you want to be at and all that stuff. It's just right here on the quick guide, which makes it really, really easy. So now here in the front, let's actually get into using it, right? So to turn it on, you just hold the start pause and you'll see it kind of spin up here. It's got a really sharp display on it too. But so then to adjust your pressure, so you can change the units, right? So you could do from, instead of PSI, you could do KPA or you could do bar. So it just kind of depends on where you are in the world. In America, we use PSI, but then you can use this little slider thing to adjust your target pressure, right? So like I mentioned, I'm going to go to 35 because that's what I want my tires to be at. But let's say that you were airing up an air mattress and it says in the instructions to air it up to no more than 15 pounds or 20 pounds or something, then you could set it to whatever you want really easily using this knob, right? So I'm going to set it to 35. There is a light built into it, so you can push that and then there's a light right there. So if you needed a flashlight, let's say you broke down on the side of the road and you needed a light, you've got this light here on the side. You've got a couple modes. You've got on, 
Then you've got a higher mode, which gets really bright. Like this thing is really bright. So again, if you broke down on the side of the road and you're airing it up and you needed some light, you've got it right there, which is super handy. If you wanted to warn people if you're on the side of the road, you could do like a fast flashing or you could do a slow flashing or and then there's off, right? So again, having a built-in light, having all this stuff be run off this one self-contained battery to me is really cool and good peace of mind. Again, probably gonna keep it in my wife's car as a backup compressor that we can use more for like kids stuff and uh, for her vehicle. If she got a flat tire and we needed to air it up or something like that, then it's just a nice thing to have. And it's so user-friendly with the built-in battery that you can use it for anything. So you can select like car, bigger truck, even bigger vehicle like an RV. You could do like basketball and see it's setting the presets for you. And then you've got just give me wind and then you've got like bicycle tires, but so it's presetting. It's got a bunch of like preset uh, modes in here that will tell you what PSI and it will automatically set it to the correct PSI for you for whatever type of thing uh, you wanna air up, which is really cool. So then the other thing, you've already seen this for the, uh, this air hose for like pool floats and uh, like air mattresses for camping. But then the other thing is on the front here is your tire hose, right? Your high pressure hose. And it just kind of sticks between this channel here. But so it's, again, it's always on here. You don't have to worry about forgetting things or having different fittings or anything like that. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, uh, you know, provided air chuck and we're gonna screw that onto the end here and then we're ready to do tires now, you know? And again, I love that this is all just built right into here. It's all just stored right on here. I probably will honestly just leave the chuck on it just like that so I don't have to mess with it or worry about getting it out and putting it on and off because the only thing I'll ever use this high pressure hose for is vehicles, right? But so again, let's go over and let's lower the pressure in my tires now and we're gonna test this thing out. We're actually gonna take it from 20 up to 35. We're gonna see how long it takes and we're gonna watch it and see how much noise it makes and all that stuff too. So you guys will actually get to see this thing in use. So let's go over to the side of the truck. Now, a couple of things that I kind of have touched on but haven't gone super deep on, but I did want to mention is that again, this has a 100% duty cycle. So the thing is, it's meant to run continuously. So you could literally inflate all four tires on an F-150, standard sizes like 245, 70R, 17, or 31 inch tires from zero to 35 PSI without ever shutting this thing off. And it will just run continuously. So it cools itself sufficiently enough that you don't have to worry about turning it off. So that is always a concern with air compressors and really nice that this one has a 100% duty cycle. As I mentioned, when you set it to the PSI, it auto stops. So you don't have to keep an eye on it. You don't have to watch it. You just set it and forget it. And it's going to turn itself off when it hits that desired target pressure. Now the battery that's built into this thing is a 19,200 milliamp hour lithium battery. So basically what that means is you can inflate about 18 F-150 standard size 31 inch tires from 30 to 35 PSI on a full charge. So we're gonna test this now going from 20 to 35. So let me get this down to 20 and then we will air it back up and we'll see how long it takes and how it does. So here's another thing that I like. Let's click on our modes here and let's get us to truck, right? So we're at 35 is our desired pressure. It will also show you below the desired pressure what you're at currently. So as I start to drain this, right, it's telling us, so I was at 35, right? So now I'm just draining it through the plug. I'm not gonna make you guys watch this whole thing, but it is pretty cool to see that it's dropping. And then when you let go, it says, hey, and now you're at 33.9. So we've let a pound out, right? So I'm gonna let it down to 20 and then we'll be right back and we're gonna air it back up to 35 and see how it does. All right, we're at exactly 20. And then I'm gonna throw a timer up on the screen here, but we are gonna start it. So as you saw there, it kind of kicks itself down a gear as it gets closer and closer to the desired pressure, which is pretty cool. I think so it doesn't overshoot, which is smart. But again, what, a few minutes, three and a half minutes maybe? I'll put the time up here on screen. I'm not looking at a stopwatch, but I measured the time on the video. Um, but I mean, like, it's, again, it's not gonna replace your, you know, big heavy duty dual compressor, you know, for airing up four tires necessarily, but to have something that's this easy to use that my wife who is not at all a car person and would probably freak out if she thought she had to air up a set of tires, to be able to just hook it up to the tire, like I literally could show her how to hook this up to the tire and how to set it to the car setting and then turn it on and it just does everything for you is really, really nice. So again, it's sort of like a backup, something that you would carry on you that I didn't ever had to pop my hood. I didn't have to hook up to power or anything. That's really, really nice. So not too bad, I'm impressed. All right guys, so there you have it. That was the Eden Wolf 
Vortex S6. This thing is really cool, right? Like again, as I've mentioned a couple of times, like if you are a real overlander, a real off-roader and stuff, like I'm not getting rid of my big dual compressor and my four tire setup or anything like that, because in our instances, a lot of the times we are gonna air down our tires quite a bit, right? To 25, 20 pounds, sometimes less if it's snowy, wet, muddy, that kind of thing. And you're gonna need a bunch of grunt to air up all four of those tires. And generally you wanna do that as quick as possible, right? Like I wanna hook up all four tires via my four tire system and I wanna air them up as quick as I possibly can, maybe four or five minutes to get all four aired up from 20 to 35. This won't do that. So I'm just being upfront with you guys, right? But man, this thing has so many other cool uses. Like, again, if you've got an air mattress, let's say, or a pretty good size air mattress, this thing's gonna do way better than those little tiny, like, uh, pumps that you put on. And I sit there, I feel like I put those things on and I wait and I wait and I wait and I check it and it's still half inflated. And then I turn it back on and the thing's 100 degrees and it's just working its butt off and it just cannot pump those things up very quick. This could replace those. This could also be, again, behind your back seat, under your back seat. In my truck, my seat comes up and there's like an empty compartment. I might keep this under my seat or in the back of my wife's car. If she gets a flat tire and you pull your spare out and your spare doesn't have enough air, this thing has all the battery built in. You don't have to pop your hood, hook up alligator clips, do all that stuff. It's just an all-in-one unit that you could use really easily to air up a tire or a couple of tires while also inflating your mattress or infl blowing up stuff for your kids. If you're at a lake, let's say, I went to land between the lakes a couple weeks ago and if I'd brought some inflatable floaties of my kids with me, I could have inflated those up where I can't do that with my dual compressor, right? The thing would blow them up, it would just explode and they don't even have the right fittings to do that anyways. This thing is so flexible and it has the built-in battery. You can use it as a power bank. I like things with multiple functions and I really like that this thing is useful like that, right? So again, I hope that this was interesting for you. May not be everybody's cup of tea, but I'm pretty excited about it for the ways that I can use this thing uh, with the kids, with the family, um, and in a variety of, of sort of use cases. So just wanted to share it with you. Uh, there will be a link in the description down below. So if you want to check one out, definitely click through that. Also in the description down below will be links to all my other social channels. So wherever you want to come hang out, I'd love to have you. There's also a link to my website where I've got funny overlanding camping theme patches and stickers, things like don't burn your wiener and it's a hot dog or I hate people so I camp. So if you are interested in that for or slapping on your fridge or your window of your vehicle or your headliner. There's a ton of cool options in there and you should check those out. Then down below this video is a join button. That's just kind of a passive way to support the channel. It also gets you early access to the podcast and all the videos. So if you are looking to say, hey, I like this content, thanks, and also get some perks, that may be a good way to do it. If you want to be more involved with all things overlanding, there's also a link to my Patreon group where we have a 24-7 Discord. We all kind of chat back and forth about our rigs and trips and things like that. Um, so that's a really fun place to be. We also do a once a month Zoom call and we're doing one or two trips every year too to try and meet up in person. So check that out if you're in interested in that. And then last but not least, there is the Newbie Overlanders Facebook group. This group's totally free to join. Got a ton of awesome members in it. So again, if you are looking for a way to connect with other overlanders, learn about overlanding, or if you're just tired of the bullying in the big groups, that may be a good place for you. And we'd love to have you. So again, thanks so much for watching. Hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time. Thank you.